We've already dealt with uh, ideas around distance and speed and time um, as a rate. You know, so we've got the story like we've had before, car drives 10 kilometers in five minutes. We can see that, right, as the rate, it's going 10 kilometers in five minutes. So, you know, you can easily see, well, what to get to 50 kilometers, this car that's going at that sort of a speed. Well, how long will it take it? It'll take... 25 minutes right so we can work carry on working like that without a problem but actually because distance speed and time are end up being a really really regularly used rates um, it's actually quite convenient to have a little formula to help us work with them so we're going to do a bit of work now on speed distance and time with a little formula Right, let's work on this one. I travel at 80 k's per hour. How long will it take me to travel 600 meters? How long? So I'm looking for time. And this tells me time is distance over speed. So time is distance over speed. Now I haven't specified what I need to get my time in, so I'm not worried about those units. But I do need to make sure the other units are all the same. And here we've got kilometers and here we've got meters. So I can't have two different ones. So let me turn the 600 meters into an, uh, a distance in kilometers. You know there's a thousand kilometers? Uh, you know there's a thousand meters in one kilometer. So in other words, what you have to do is you have to divide by a thousand to turn the amount in meters to amount in kilometers. We can simplify this fraction, so we get 6 tenths, and 6 tenths we can write nicely as a decimal, which is 0, 0,6. So our distance is 0, 0,6 kilometers, and our speed is 80 kilometers per hour. So the answer we get out for the time is going to be in hours. So I'm now going to just use my calculator and work out 0 0.6 divide by 80 and I want that as a decimal and I get the answer of 0, 0, 0,0075 hours. Now, if we're honest, 0, 0,0075 hours is not a very nice time. I mean, you know, can you picture how long 0, 0,0075 hours? So let's move and see if it helps us to put it into minutes. So how do I move from a time in hours to a time in minutes? One hour is 60 minutes. Two hours then will be two times 60, 120 minutes. Three hours, three times 60. 180 minutes. So 0 0.0075 hours will be equal to 0, 0, 0.0075 times by 60 minutes. Right, again, I'm just going to use my calculator here and I get that that is 0, 0.45 minutes. All right, so it's not even a whole minute. Okay, still, that doesn't really take me to a number that makes complete sense, so I'm going to go even further and turn it into seconds. One minute, 60 seconds. Two minutes, two times 60 seconds. Three minutes, three times 60 seconds, right? So what you're doing to go from minutes to seconds is you're multiplying by 60. So I'm going to say 0 0.45 times by 60 to turn it into seconds. And now, hopefully, this gives us an amount that makes sense. And if I go to my calculator, work it out, I will see the amount that makes sense, 27 seconds. So if, I traveling at, if I'm traveling at 80 kilometers per hour, it's going to take me 27 seconds to travel 600 meters. Okay, here's one I want you to do for yourself. Pause the video, do it in your homework books, and then we'll run to it very quickly. All right, so you're asking how far... In other words, you're asking for distance, and this thing tells you distance is speed times time. And your speed is 100 kilometers per hour. And your time, well, it's 45 minutes. 
and 45 minutes is 45 over 60 of an hour and 45 over 60 you can divide top and bottom by 15 and that becomes three quarters of an hour right just to make sure that we've got everything in the same units and so we've got to say 100 times by three quarter and if you work that out you will get 75 so 